Hello everyone. I have the honor and pleasure to welcome with me today Alex Medana, co-founder of FinFabric and founding board member of the FinTech Association of Hong Kong. The pleasure is mine, okay? And uh, hello everybody. It's a pleasure to have you around. FinFabric, an only two years old FinTech in Hong Kong, but already reinventing capital markets. And you do that through a multi-asset trading platform, particularly for digital assets. Alex, you started here in Hong Kong. Why and so far, what are your biggest achievements? Simple answer, we were already here. So the three co-founders, we were already here, uh, moved from other places. I moved from Bangalore, as you can see. I'm not Indian, uh, but my accent is, is French. A little uh, bit? A little bit. Uh, I speak Hindi, by the way, so hello, everybody. And our bigger achievements, our biggest achievement is really to be still around, right? To, to be alive because it's really, really hard to pass over one year. I think you have the statistic in your, in your, somewhere in your presentation, but I think it's 85, 90% who dies after one year. And out of these 10, 15%, well, they, they, they don't survive. 90% die in the second year. So we are survivors. Way. Talking a little bit about evolution, yes. how do you see Hong Kong transit from a financial center to a fintech hub? So the two can be cohabitating. I think they can, they can be uh, surviving uh, both sides. So Hong Kong is still a center, particularly for equity, for IPO. HKX is one of the biggest markets in the world. So we have that. And then we can help these old firms, these incumbents, to really understand fintech. So a lot of education that we can do, but at the same time, sell them technology to make them improve. Now I have to say, it's very, very hard to sell to incumbents. If you listen to me, right, it's very, very hard, but we keep at it. On the contrary, it's very easy in the digital assets, you know, cryptocurrency, tokens, and all of that. It's very easy to sell to the new world. Uh, fund managers, broker, crypto brokers. We can sell, we can close clients. I mean, partners, I don't want to say clients, but we can close them in two weeks, three weeks. MOU and then SSAs. Within two weeks, three weeks, unheard of. I'm still having conversations with bank after a year and a half, right? I, I'm not falling asleep, but I'm still continuing. Well, looking at FinPabric, how do you assess the opportunities of the initiative that is called Greater Bay Area? For us, is one of the conduits as to our expansion. We are a B2B you know, solution provider. We are cloud-based, so we use four types of cloud. One is based in China, you know, the big A, uh, the big alley. And therefore, we can service any market. Now, the problem, whether you're B2C or or B2B is the scale, particularly with China, right? So I do a lot of startup uh, pitch uh, judging. Um, I'm French, so I'm judgmental, but uh, you know, so, so that's different. Uh, so I do a lot of judging. And when you have a startup based in, uh, in China and they have 10 million customers, everybody goes, so what, 10 million? What, one year for 10 million? For us, coming from the West, we would get any million. Right, any million, whether we are in B2B, B2C. So the scale, you have to understand if you're ready, if you have the right staff, the right technology, if you have the invoicing, accounting system, you know, how do you charge your client? When you have all these volumes, what do you do? All of these questions, you know, they need to be answered before you address the Chinese market. And as well, you need to have somebody who speaks fluently Chinese and who is from there, you know, as the face. I'm a Guaylo, I do a lot of martial arts. I understand Taoism and Chinese philosophy. I don't speak Chinese. I can't be the face of the business in China. I realize that. So we need allies, partners. Wonderful, so great opportunities, also challenges. Oh, yeah. So being an entrepreneur, yeah, can be tough, right? What is your startup passion? Just do the impossible. Because if it's not impossible, why bother, right? So I would, I would go back to a bank and, and go gray. I left three years ago after 16 years. You know, I'm getting old. But it's really to do the impossible. And if we fail, we fail from a, a so high point that we will breach something that is quite amazing. And the journey, not the destination, that's what matters to me. Alex, thank you so much for your honest and transparent feedback. It was such a pleasure, pleasure. having you. It is a pleasure. Hello, everyone. See you around. Bye.